Hello everyone. Okay, so I'm here with a little bit of a random uh, last minute kind of video uh, that I wanted to film. So, we are gonna talk about and try <laughs> this today. This is the, I think it's Lewin, Van Lewin Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Ice Cream. Um, apparently this company is known for having some odd flavors for their ice creams, but I've actually heard that some of them are not quite as bad as you think they would be. That being said, I don't know how I feel about macaroni and cheese ice cream. Um, but I've been seeing it almost everywhere recently. And as soon as I saw that my local Walmart was carrying this, I figured why not try it? Now, don't get me wrong, I love macaroni and cheese. Regular macaroni and cheese, maybe not the ice cream. But I, I mean, I guess that's what we're gonna find out today. <laughs> it sounds very odd to me. So yeah, it just says limited edition, Kraft macaroni and cheese, French ice cream. Um, and I heard they've had like, they had pizza. They had one that was uh, hot honey, which actually sounded fairly good. That's not as crazy to me as something like this. Um, but uh, we're gonna give it a go. I figured I'd try a tiny bit and see. All right, I just took the cover off and <laughs> it straight up looks like like the Kraft Mac and Cheese sauce, which I'm assuming that's what it's gonna taste like. I'm just confused because I don't know if this is supposed to be like savory or sweet or like a mix of savory and sweet. Um, I'm gonna need two hands so that I can take the plastic off the top of this. So give me a second. All right, so I took off the plastic. It doesn't smell like anything, uh, but there we are. We're gonna try it. I wish I didn't have to hold my phone and make this a lot easier, but oh, still pretty soft. I literally just grabbed this and brought it home. There we go. Still doesn't smell like anything. I'm scared. <laughs> I I have been known to like some really odd uh, food combos. So who knows? Let's see what this is like. Mm. That is very odd. How do you even? You try it yet? My fiance is in the background. Yeah. Okay, give me a scoop. <laughs> He's gonna try too. Hold on, let me see what he thinks. <laughs> Hi, Joe. my reaction to it's like cheesy and then it's like creamy and then what the frick it's not as mac and cheese holy crap it's not as weird as i thought it was gonna be okay so huh. hold on, hold oh, on. thank you for that it, you're <laughs> i told him i was picking this up and originally he was like i don't know if i'm gonna do that but well there we go okay the first thing you get it's like salt. Like the cheese sauce salt. And then it's almost like a little tangy, like a, a little bit of like a sour kind of thing. And then it goes like the sweet and creamy. Almost like when you think of like a cheesecake. Um, yeah, that's what I think of at least. It's almost like a cheesecake type thing. I don't think I could eat very much of this though. I'm like, <laughs> take these tiny bits of it. Yeah, it's just definitely not as strange as I thought it would be. It definitely, it definitely gives me the, the mac and cheese kind of thing. And then it's weird because after the sweetness starts to dissipate, you get more mac and cheese. So yeah, salty, then a little bit like of a sour kind of dairy thing to sweet, creamy, 
to mac and cheese aftertaste. That's literally the only way I can describe it. So it is a little tiny bit of like the salty and sweet, which I do tend to like with desserts. I like the mix of salty and sweet. Uh, I mean, th with things like pizza, I, I love sweet sauce pizzas. I don't know if it's just a Northeast type thing, but I'm from Massachusetts originally. And that was a thing there in some places. And I really liked it. So I think maybe that's why I don't hate it. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, so, you know, if any of this sounds appealing to you, maybe try it out. Um, that's what we had. But yeah. Um, it's so weird. I've never had anything like it before. It's honestly making me question now some of the other flavors that I've heard about and whether or not they'd actually be as bad as I thought. I still think pizza sounds a little weird to me. I know that it's not the first time I've heard about things like tomato and such being incorporated into sweet things, but I personally just have not tried it. So who knows, maybe it's good. And it's just, you know, it's just not something I have not tried. But yeah, I would uh, I would say it's, it's fairly good. Would I go out of my way to just constantly eat this? Probably not. Uh, I'd rather stick to other uh, things that I like more, <laughs> but hey, hey, you know, who knows? Maybe this is going to be somebody's favorite flavor. It is limited edition though. So uh, I suggest if you do want to give this a go, whether it's just for kicks or maybe this actually sounds really appealing to you, then definitely check out uh, to see if your local stores have it. I do not know who else carries this. The only place I saw advertised online was Walmart, which of course is where I got mine. Uh, so yeah, uh, head on to your, your local stores, check them out if you're interested and see if you can find either this flavor or maybe some of the other odd flavors that they have out there and you just might find very strange, but maybe your new favorite ice cream flavor from, from Van Leeuwen. I hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, there you go. Kraft Mac and Cheese ice cream. Wasn't expecting to make this video today, but here we are. And I uh, hope all is well. And hope uh, you all are eating some good ice cream out there. Have a good one.